Should you give away your music free? Very good question. Very good question. Well, that supposes that you are in charge of your music. So you are a DIY artist who is doing it yourself. That's what DIY stands for. Um, you're doing it yourself, and so ver- invariably you're... Your own publishing company, your your own recording studio, your own manager, you're all those things, right? And that's what you have to decide. What was the question again? Sound speed. It depends on how valuable you think it is to begin with. If it's valuable to you, then you're not going to want to give it away cheaply. You're going to be like, nah, man, this is worth something. Or you're going to be like, nah, man, I want to give it away. I don't mind. This is good. Because I just believe it belongs to everybody. Or you're hip to the fucking game early and you decide, uh, oh, I know, selling. Bam, I know exactly what to do. Sell the shit. Because let's face it. At some point in the selling of music you inevitably are using enticement to get people to come in. And what is the number one easiest thing that people think of is you give something away for free in hopes that people will then see that it has value, you know, and entice people to come, you know, Uh, drugs, um, sugar, drugs, You know, drugs. Give it away for free. Sex. Give it away for free. It's going to cost you somewhere down the road, right? It all costs something down the road, but the enticement, the gateway into it is the free thing. Here's something for free, but it's not for free. (laughs) 